Hello guys, Eric here with a review of the new film Barbarian, which uh, I really wanted to do this review because I really kind of want to spread the gospel on this movie. Let me say up front, I'm going to be keeping this movie secrets because secrecy has been a big part of the ad campaign for this film. If you've seen the trailer, which we will discuss that, they are very minimal in what they're showing you, and that is by design, and I love that. It's very rare these days. Usually you feel like trailers are showing too much or giving away at least like a big hook of the movie. This one does not. So my plot description is going to be pretty brief on this, which is to say this is a horror film in which uh, a young woman, Tess, played by Georgina Campbell, shows up at her Airbnb late one night um, to check in, and someone is already staying there. It's a charming young gentleman named Keith, and it's uh, it's a mishap. He says, oh, let's work out this issue. We got double booked. Oh, the, the company sucks. Let's talk. Let's work this out. Come on inside. And of course, this is a horror movie, so she probably shouldn't go inside. But what happens next is what I'm not going to say because this movie has some surprises in store for you. Uh, look, it, it's tipping its hat a little bit here. with It knows what it's doing with the casting, because Bill Skarsgård plays Keith. That's freaking Pennywise the Clown. Um, so they want you to be on edge from the beginning. I've joked how this is the setup that you could use for a Hallmark romance movie, but it's not that. Things are going to happen, and that's all I can say about the plot. Um, except I'll mention Justin Long is in this movie, which is not a secret, but I don't even want to say what Justin Long's part is or how he comes into the story. Uh, just there's trouble in this house. There's trouble downstairs in the basement. Uh, Barbarian is written and directed by Zach Kreger. And if you don't know his name, uh, he is one of the whitest kids you know. That's not a descriptive uh, by me. The comedy troupe, uh, who, of course, had a TV show of the same name. He was a member of that group. Uh, he has also uh, starred in numerous sitcoms. But this is another case, something we've seen a lot in recent years as a kind of a whole thing that I think people look back on this time about comedians going into horror films. And of course, Jordan Peele did it the most successfully with a big career and his co complete shift on what we even think of with Jordan Peele. But we also have Danny McBride writing and producing the new Halloween movies. And uh, we had Chris Rock developing and starring in a Saw movie. So now we have Zach Kreger, who goes from The Whitest Kids You Know to This Is His Feature Debut, and it is an excellent debut. Uh, like Get Out, I'm not saying it's quite as great as Get Out, but it's pretty damn great. This is a wonderful calling card movie, a wonderful, like, look at what this person can do. Um, again, I, I have to hold back here because I don't want to describe the plot too much, but say that the swerves it takes and the big swings it take really land. They really work. Uh, this is a great audience movie, and that's another reason I really wanted to review this movie now. It's coming out in theaters this weekend to say, go see this and try to see it with a, you know a, a good crowd if you can. Hopefully uh, some people show up because horror movies tend to get uh, some nice audiences, even if they're smaller in scale. Uh, it, it, it just gets you. I saw this movie with uh, a packed audience and they were, you know, I, edge of the seat is a cliche I know, but I will say it, <laughs> edge of your seat reacting, uh, big reactions. You know, Craiger coming from a comedy background, I think like you see with Jordan Peele, there is a sense of humor. This is not a horror comedy. This is a straight up horror movie, but there is a little wry, a little satirical stuff in this movie and some purposely funny beats that I think play very well uh, with the kind of bigger picture, again, the vagueness of what it's about and what it means what is what is the uh, the villain of this movie and what is the backstory of this villain of the movie? There's definitely a greater meaning to that and a meaning to the title of the movie. Uh, but I really also want to commend Kreger here on the layout of the house. This is integral to this film. It is mostly, you know, this is a small scale movie, mostly set inside this house. And I really admired uh, just the sense of geography. Sometimes they can really screw that up in a movie and you don't really kind of understand how things connect here. The layout of this house, what door goes where, the layout of the basement. I think it's very well set up, which ends up being key because it helps increase the tension when you understand that a character needs to get from here to here to be safe and what that will entail. Or when you understand that someone is in very grave danger because of something happening, understanding the layout of that house, very, very well done. And also the lighting, because as we just saw in some of this footage, a lot of this movie is lit by iPhone and flashlight uh, in a very believable way. It's not overlit. 
And that's a very, uh, it's a tightrope, right? Because you don't want to overlight a movie that's supposed to be lit by natural light, but you also want people to be able to freaking see what's on screen and not think, I'm just looking at nothing. There are moments that, of course, play more into almost pitch blackness, and that's to increase the tension. But I never felt like, well, I don't even know what I'm looking at. I felt like, uh, I, you know, I, when I did interview Craig for this movie. We talked about that and the cameras they used and all the discussions he had with cinematographer to make sure that using iPhone lighting that you could still see enough on screen for it to sell, to register, and to make a very effective horror movie. Uh, yeah, so, I, I mean, again, I'm going to keep this one pretty short because I don't want to say too much except... I think you should see this movie if you are a horror movie fan. And I think it, it's a great, you know, Craig has, has said he doesn't want to necessarily kind of make the full shift that Jordan Peele has made, who is a friend of his, into almost entirely making horror stories now. You know, he he wants to do other genres and maybe still make a straight up comedy. But I certainly want to see him do more in this genre uh, because this is a, a really, really impressive debut. Uh, I am giving it a four and a half out of five stars. Uh, it's definitely, I think there's been a lot of good uh, horror movie stuff this year. It's been a really cool standout year on that, but this is one of my favorites and I really hope people discover it. There's been a lot of talk about how there's not a lot of big studio releases for several weeks going on right now. There's this lull, but this is the chance for a smaller movie like this to kind of grab a hold. It doesn't need to be a $100 million grossing movie. It's not designed to be that kind of thing, but I think it can find its audience, find its uh, cult audience here who will pass on the word about it, which I hope to do to you. So uh, yeah, you can check that out in theaters uh, as of this weekend, September 9th. Uh, hope you check it out. Hope you enjoy. And that's it for now. We'll have plenty more here at Fandom Guys. Thanks. How long was that?